Hi there, and welcome to the Cotswold Explorer. I'm Robin Shuckborough, and we're exploring the wonderful region of the Cotswolds in southwest England. For the last couple of years, we've been following in the footsteps of Herbert Evans, who wrote this wonderful book, Highways and Byways in Oxford and the Cotswolds, in 1905. But we've almost finished his journey now, so we've decided to revisit the centre of the region and find some hidden gems, places that are not quite so famous, but still just as beautiful. And today you find Ross, Widget and me in the tiny village of Dalesford, just a few miles east of Stowe on the Wold. It's a tiny village, it's one of the very few left in the Cotswolds that are entirely owned by the estate on which they were built. They're small settlements, they were mostly of course built for the workers of the, on the estate. These days there aren't many workers on an estate of this kind, um, but that's what they were there for. And there was a tradition amongst these great estates that they would provide housing for their staff, for their families, for the rest of their lives. It was here that a crop was introduced to the area called Sainfoin, sometimes known as Holy Clover. It was largely grown as fodder for sheep and cattle on the Cotswold, as well as on the chalk downs. The blaze of brilliant pink produced by acres of it in full bloom is a distinctive feature in the landscape. Evans, our faithful travelling companion over the Cotswold, describes a cheering prospect described from afar by the glad eye of the cyclist as he journeys over the worlds in the early summer. The Sainfoin is a native plant, but it began to be grown as a regular crop on the Cotswold in the middle of the 17th century, many years before turnip fields came into fashion. Its cultivation is said to have been introduced into England by the squire of Dalesford of the day. Writing as he was in 1905, Evans carries on with this enchanting description. Dalesford, the home of Warren Hastings, a great 18th century English man of politics, lies on our left as we descend the hill from Chasselton to cross the Evenlode at Adlestrup Bridge. The mortal part of the great statesman lies beneath the altar of Dalesford Church. For though he was buried outside the old church, the new church, erected in 1860, was extended eastwards to, to include his grave. In the churchyard stands a square stone pedestal supporting an urn with the simple inscription, Warren Hastings. Who does not remember the story as told by Macaulay how one bright summer day, young Warren, then just seven years old, lay on the bank of the rivulet which flows through the old domain of his house to join the Isis. There, as three score and ten years later he told the tale, rose in his mind a scheme which through all the turns of his eventful career was never abandoned. He would recover the estate which had belonged to his fathers. He would be Hastings of Dalesford. His ancestor, the Patronus of the Sainfoin, had impoverished the estate in the service of his king, and some score of years before Warren's birth, it had passed into other hands. At last, in 1788, the great statesman realised his ambition. He repurchased Dalesford, rebuilt the house, and lived there till his death in 1818. How he spent his days as a country gentleman, dividing his time between farming and literature, fattening prize cattle, and attempting to naturalise exotics, both animal and vegetable, may be read in the pages of the aforementioned Macaulay. The estate is now in the hands of one of the most dynamic families in this country today, the Bamfords. Having made a huge fortune in the manufacturing of heavy machinery, Lord and Lady Bamford have settled on this estate and they run it with all the energy and dedication they brought to the rest of their lives. 
we hope to revisit in detail at a later date the extraordinary farm shop, a term that doesn't begin to do it justice, where I recently did a butchery course, a birthday gift from my beloved daughter. I can't wait to show you all around. I hope you've enjoyed our little trip around Dalesford. It's a beautiful little place, miles from anywhere, in these wonderful folds of the hills. Of course, it has this one glorious central gem of the extraordinary farm shop. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You can find us on all the platforms and we'll see you in about a week's time.